Welcome to Awesome Code. Please subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will learn about import statement in Java. So first I'm going to use the import statement and then I'm going to describe it. So this will be over here. Import Java dot util dot array list. So this is our import statement over here. And we can interpret the import statement as saying, in the Java API, there is a package called util. And in that package is a clause called array list. So if I want to create a array list, Let's see how to do it in our main function. Okay. Array list of string type. And I will name it AL and new array list of strings and so wherever you see the word array list in this class it is just a shorthand for this over here i will show you it's the same as writing this way Java dot util dot array list. I will just comment it because we already declare the same variable. And new Java dot util dot array list. So these post statements are almost same thing. Here we are using the complete uh, our, our class name with the package. And here we are just using the class name because we already use the import statement. So we are not required to use this fully, fully qualified name. Uh, Java package typically has many classes. The import statement offer yet another keystroke saving capability. For example, if you want to use a few different classes from the java.util package, array list and tree set, we can add a wildcard character to our import statement. That means if we see a reference to a class we are not sure of, we can look through the entire package for that class. Let's change uh, our import statement and remove this uh, class array list. And we just use an asterisk sign so we can use other clauses from this package too. So for this statement, we don't need this one. It is better to use this way. And now I'm going to use another class from this util package, such as tree set. Tree set of type string. And 
I will name the variable t and create using a new operator. And then we are just going to make a constructor call new preset of type string. So when the compiler and the JVM see this code, they know to look through our Java util package for our array list and tree set. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my channel, Awesome Code, keep supporting me, and thank you for watching.